Welcome to the Sparkling Logic Smarts Getting Started video series. In this video, you will learn about the key concepts of the decision management discipline. We'll explain what it's used for and how it works. So, what is decision management? As your customers interact with you over the web or other channels, decisions are made as part of the systems. Which product to recommend? Is this user eligible? Is this transaction fraudulent? These are just a few examples of how decision management has been used in financial services, insurance, mortgage, healthcare, telecom, retail, the list is endless. So let's focus on just one use case. Let's see how it works. Anna just bought a used car and shops for an insurance policy. She's 28, single. She now owns a Toyota Highlander 2009. She had one minor violation, but that was four months ago. As she submits the application, the insurance company can start processing it. Underwriters may review the application manually, but most likely a computer system will do the work. Automated decisions can quickly and reliably let Anna know that she has been approved, as well as the terms and conditions of the policy. Automated decisions can process volumes of applications consistently in a short turnaround time, while underwriters focus on the complicated cases. How do we automate decisions? Well, for decades, decision logic has been buried in COBOL or Java code or any other languages. Making change is painful as they require the full software development life cycle. Assuming that the structure of the decision logic is defined in stone, you can also set up database tables for product configuration. Business rules are the most flexible solution for automating decisions as they are individual pieces of logic. You can add them over time to reflect your business policies. There are no dependencies between each one of them and no need to worry about sequencing. Anna's policies has been approved as she did not trigger any of the red flags. She has had less than three accidents and she's neither young nor old. Business rules are best for business control as business users, in this case underwriters, can capture the decision logic to be automated. They can tap into their own expertise to augment the policies codified in the policy manuals, regulations, or corporate strategy. Using a decision management system, business rules are saved in the repository where they can be protected and backed up. Then they will be deployed as a decision service that can be integrated with your own business processes in-house or on the cloud. The process of promoting the decision logic from its capture to its deployment is called lifecycle management and does not require IT once it has been set up. The key benefit of decision management is that the focus is on improving decisions. The time is not wasted on translating the requirements into code and having a conversation between business users and IT, but rather it is spent on capturing and experimenting upfront with the decision logic. Let me tell you about the steps of the decision management approach with SMARTS. First, decision modeling is the early phase of a decision management project. It focuses on the decision, its motivation, and the key performance indicators that will measure its success. This is also where you will define the steps involved in a complex decision. We call it a decision flow. Next, you need to bring data in your SMARTS environment. It will provide the context that helps business users connect the dots between the actual data structure, the decision logic, and the business performance. If you do not have any data around, no worry. We will show you how to get started from scratch. One of SMART's unique features is the ability to assist domain experts in capturing their knowledge. The patent pending red pen approach engages them with use cases for fast and driven capture of the decision logic. If business rules are already documented in policy manuals, regulations, or corporate strategy, business analysts can use traditional representations such as textual rules, decision tables, decision trees, or decision graphs to author the corresponding logic. What is different in SMART is that you can switch representation at will. So there is not as much design to make up front as you might think. Another unique ability in SMART is rule induction. When you have tapped into the corporate knowledge already, the next place to look is in your data. Using analytics, business users can uncover new insight. While data scientists are involved in heavy lifting analytics, BluePen offers a complementary solution for business users getting started or looking for very fresh trends. 
As you capture your decision logic, you can see immediately the impact of your rule changes, experiment with different scenarios and simulate your overall business performance over large volumes of transactions. All these steps are tightly integrated to allow you to follow your train of thoughts as you initially capture your decision logic or later on refine it. When the decision logic has been vetted, it can be pushed into a decision service that your architects have integrated with your systems and business processes. Transactions, like Anna's, can be processed real-time or in batch. We invite you to learn more about each one of these steps in the Sparkling Logic Smart Getting Started videos. Thank you.